everybody welcome back and I'm back oh oh okay well this hair is deciding to no it's not a part of the ponytail at all all right well it's gonna hang out and do its own thing because I didn't know that was happening until now <laughs> anyways hey everyone welcome back I am back um I have missed filming and talking to y'all so much like it's crazy how attached I've already become to like YouTube and doing videos and like YouTube audience and interacting with y'all. But um, I look forward to it. I'm so happy that I'm actually able to sit down and film right now. Things have been crazy, like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs around here in the Thomas household. And I'm going to do a quick little update and then I also want to know things that y'all want to see, more like content stuff and yeah. So let's go ahead and dive in and get this going, doing, get this going. <laughs> uh, this is my life right now. Like what's happening? This is, yeah. Okay. So basically it's been really crazy. Um, I am going to do a full like C-section recovery video for y'all. But quick little thing is that I had some minor problems with it. I had to go to the ER based on my doctor's recommendation and um I am okay I'm not dying nothing's happening but that's kind of like what kick-started it all and yeah <sighs> so that happened probably mid last week yes that's what I'm gonna go with mid last week I want to say like Tuesday maybe Wednesday at the latest something like that so that's where it all started. I ended up in the ER, but thank God I am okay. Um, there is a little bit of an issue going on with my incision and that whole thing, but like I said, I'll go ahead and put that in a whole recovery video that I'm gonna film for y'all. And yeah, so just know that things are getting better. I'm not dying. The twins are okay. Like, we're all good. Um, after that, Vernon started getting really sick that we noticed. Um, he had started getting like high fevers and then at one point it got to 103.6 and for anybody who knows anything about medical that is not okay that's at the point to where your internal organs in your brain literally like start cooking I guess I'll say um to where you can end up with permanent damage from that and it's irreversible damage so that was really worrisome and we couldn't get it down past like 100 at like the lowest so those were really big like red flag signs going on sorry this hair is like bothering me i'm gonna like make it blend and pretend that it belongs there see we're good yeah we're fine <laughs> camouflage but um yeah so that was really quite worrisome and scary because he um is an actual certified emt and he has been raised around doctors his entire life I have been raised around doctors my entire life because my mom, my sister, and my dad all worked for a med school. Um, so literally, I've just grown up around the medical field and all of that great jazz. So basically knowing what the two of us know, obviously something's wrong. So we ended up um, bringing the twins to my parents and I brought him to the hospital because he couldn't drive at that point. He was just like, ugh because he was running the high fevers, he was coughing, like his head was hurting really badly, he was having back pains, he was having like all these other different symptoms going on and we're like, okay, this is starting to get major, you need to go. So I brought him to the hospital. Um, we were there for like four hours, ended up that he has the flu and it was terrible. Um, we had to get chest x-rays of his lungs and everything. Well, his lungs have scarring but we're lucky that he does not have pneumonia. When you get the flu, there is a potential risk of getting pneumonia, which can kill you. So, yay, all these fantastic, wonderful things going on. So we were there, um, we kind of had a little bit of a scare there, but thankfully to God that he is okay. Um, I was able to bring him home, but he wasn't really able to be around the babies. Like he had to wear a mask around anybody else, like, if, I had my flu shot when I was pregnant um like they're just like hey why don't you get this done I'm like sure whatever because I normally don't get the flu shot done and stuff like that um 
Yeah, but luckily I had already gotten them while I was pregnant. But the babies, they don't really have any of their immunizations yet because they're not even a month old. They'll be a month old on Sunday. Oh my gosh, my babies are going to be a month old. Okay, let's not go in that. I digress. Um, <laughs> So, he couldn't really hold them. And if he did, he had to wear his face mask, which he had to wear around everybody else anyway. Um, and he had to wear, like, blankets on him. He had to, like, wash his hands all the time, anything like that. So, we had to make sure the babies didn't catch it because if the babies caught it, it could be potentially fatal for them because their immune systems are so new and still developing and they don't have any of their shots and things like that. So, yeah, that was kind of scary and really hard for him. So, this whole weekend, I literally spent taking care of him, taking care of them, sanitizing our house, trying to find stuff for us to eat. <laughs> it, it was crazy. Today... Actually, yesterday, he became non-contagious, I guess I'll call it. I don't know the proper term to insert right there, but yeah. So, he is no longer contagious. Um, basically, they told him once his fever broke, everything was good. You're still going to have some of your symptoms, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah. He's doing better, but he was able to help me last night, and I could tell he was feeling better. And then today... Um, he did help me this morning, but I made sure that he slept because he went to work. So it's back to me and me and the babies and Devin when she comes home from school. So yeah, it's going to be us. Uh, it was a little bit rough last night. Um, I guess because like the twins knew that not everything was normal. Things were going on. And then also like they were having little tummy issues. Like they had a little bit of gassiness here and there. So they did not want to sleep. They were just like, Mom, Dad, hold us. We actually ended up with one of them sleeping with us last night. The other one was in their crib. Like, it was a mess. <laughs> but thankfully, we got Vernon, like, his prescriptions, all of that kind of stuff. You can't actually, like, cure the flu from what they told us. It's a virus that you just have to let it run its course. But they did give him things to make it better, like Tylenol with codeine in it. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. And then we also got him um, a inhaler and all of that to help with, like, the coughing and his breathing and the pain that he was feeling in his lungs, all of that kind of stuff. So, he's doing better. He is, um, he's in the healing process. He's not completely out of the woods of it yet, but he's doing okay. So, between me going to the ER like him going to the ER, the twins having like a rough weekend. And then also Devin had a fever of 101.6, like randomly out of nowhere. And I'm like, dude, those are babies. Hold on. Okay. So I'm back. <laughs> That's the thing about having little ones is at any moment they can cry and do stuff. Um, what was I saying? Oh uh, yeah, so I was like, what the hell is going on with our household? But yeah, so it's been a little crazy because I've been trying to keep our house clean. I've been trying to cook, like have food for us to eat, just dealing with the babies and then Devin with school. Like it hasn't been terrible, but there are, are good times and there are definitely times that are a little bit more stressful. Um, oh goodness. But yeah, so... Other part of this video besides like, sorry that was itchy. Ooh, look at my face. I'm like glowy and stuff. Hey. Anyways, <laughs> my oily skin is back as y'all can see since my pregnancy kind of like had my skin a little bit dry, but now it's back to being oily. Whatever. So, <laughs> way off subject. I digress. I want to talk to y'all about like content and stuff. I know that there are definitely some videos that have been requested and they are on my list of things to do. I have not forgotten about you. I promise you like pinky promise. I haven't forgotten about you. Um, they are coming up. It is just a little bit harder for me to find times to film because literally while the boys are sleeping, I have choices and I have to prioritize everything. I can either eat, I can either pump, I can either clean, I can sleep, I can film. Like I always have to like figure out what is the most important thing that I have to do right now and then I'll do that while they're sleeping and then put the rest kind of in order and if I get to it. So 
it is a little bit more difficult. Um, the process with this is that there are two babies, so things take twice as long to do. Like for some people that have a singleton pregnancy, like feed their baby, change their baby, spend some time with him or her, put them to sleep, and then they can do whatever until that baby wakes up again. I don't have that luxury. I have to literally do the process with one, then do the process again with the other, and then do stuff with the time that I can. And it doesn't even always run that smooth because they are babies and it goes their way. Sometimes one wakes up before I'm done with the other one, so I kind of have to like balance doing both at the same time. And yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time and all of that. So I do want to know what are things that y'all want to see? What are ideas of videos that y'all want to know? Do y'all want a whole like postpartum um, like journey? Do you want me to do more family videos? Do you want me to do like the stuff that I do at Devon on a regular basis? Do you want us to do like whole family videos like vlogs? Well, this is kind of a vlog, so whatever. Um, yeah, but just things that y'all want to see. Because it's like, okay, I understand like we had the whole pregnancy thing and now that I've had the twins, the game changes. It's like, okay, well now I can do a whole other set and different types of videos rather than since I'm obviously not pregnant anymore, it's not just about that. So I kind of want to know what do y'all want to see? What do y'all want to come out of this and what I can do to make that happen? Hey. But um, yeah, so just comments and things like that letting me know the things that I can do and film to make y'all happy and entertained. So go ahead and leave those in the comments below and I do have some videos coming up like the um not only the ones that y'all have requested but like a breastfeeding video, a recovery video, a c-section video, all of that kind of stuff. So just go ahead and let me know all the things that y'all want to see and ideas that y'all have of anything so yep i will be looking out for those and i will start working on them asap and i will see you in the next video all right